Hello everyone. Now I will show you how to create a multi-step form. There are two ways in single form. Just uh, let's get started with, with the first uh, way. Just go to a new form. Then you have two options, single form or multi-step form. Um, as you can see, a multi-step form is the second way. The other way is using the single form. Just go onto this. Also, there is a template for this. You can see this one, wizard form. Let's take a look. As you can see, this is the wizard form. But inside the single the single way. It's easy to navigate, you can see, just click on the tabs on here and you can see it, it works fine. Just, you can see the validation is, are working fine. Okay, you can upload some colors on here, okay. That's it. You can see the wizard form on here. If you check the records, you can see all the records on here. So you can see it's working fine. So I will create from zero. Yeah, I'm not, I will not use this template. I will just create from blank template. Wizard form. Uh, once you are here, just go to this tab, wizard form. You can see on here, then add the, the tabs. Also, I will change the theme. This is the theme that I will use. So you can change colors, things like that. For example, on here, let me check. Mm. Okay. And, okay, um, you can navigate through the tabs. I will add like this text box name name here mm. add name here also I will add a um, mail this is the mail I will add a validation. Also, I will add a placeholder. Add mail here. Also, I will add a text box. I will put like comments. I will add a validation required. Then submit button here. But wait, uh, here you don't need the submit button. You need a um, wizard button because you can navigate through if you want to go back just go back and that's it if you go to the title um the second step i will add like select list mm, services Okay, then I will add um, checkboxes, I don't know, products, and I will add the options the same way. Then I will add the wizard button. The wizard button, okay, now in the last step, you can put like, I don't know, color, color, I don't know, put this way. Also, I will add like for example, you can drag and drop as well, just here. Mm. In the comments. I can put comments as well. Mm, 
I can put the checkbox as well. Checkbox like mm, I can hide this and add this option. Set terms and conditions. And I will add a validation. You can see. And finally, I will add this wizard button. That's it. I will change the background color. I don't know, this way. There it is. Some border radius. Okay, also I can change globally the fonts on here. Quicksand, there it is. So we can change that. Okay, there it is. On mail settings, we can activate the mail to the customer, choose the receiving mail. Okay, you can uh, change the mail notification as well. Submissions, here your message. Global settings is fine. Okay, I think we are good. Save changes, here the shortcut to use, yes. For example, you can see validation is working fine. We'll put any, any mail, okay, here. For example, if I put finish, it will require to accept terms and conditions here. Choose this one. There it is. You can see um, the success message has been shown. If we check it on the records, you will see all the information. So um, it's working fine. So this is the, the multi-step form uh, using using single single form way. So this is the first way to, to create a, a wizard form. Um, and also the other way, as I show you, is using this create multi-step form. You can see if I select this one, it's with a better interface, which you can connect forms with other forms in graphic way, and you will add connection, thing like that. So, but that will be in another video. So, um, if you have any questions uh, for this example of wizard form uh, using the first way, uh, just leave the comments below. And that's it. Thank you for your attention.